No, this won't do. The balance is a bit. Stop pissing away my time! Quit messing with that thing already, would ya? Don't rush me. The whole world will see me today. So I must make my comb over look flawless. Nobody cares about an old man's obsession with his hairstyle. I just want to go home. Even if you hurry home, it's not as though there's anything waiting for you there. I just don't like being near. And as you fuss with your do, I keep thinking about that sadistic chick escaping and... Hmm. A foolish concern. I oversaw that dungeon's creation over the years I've spent here. I am certain that even if the CPUs all band together, there is no chance for them to. Ooh, Mr. Rat waited for me. Son of a bitch! I knew it! We made it in time! Minister. Drat! The CPUs! You don't mean to tell me you escaped from my dungeon, do you? As soon as you put us in there, the game flagged our little escape event, so yeah. When you put it in fourth wall breaking terms like that, I appear careless. I told you so, chunk! Whatever! This ain't skin off my nose! I'm gonna bounce! We won't let you! Plutia, go! Okie dokie! Whee! Lovely. I. Capture the rat. Hey, no fair! Let, let go of my badass tail! Let me go! Don't squirm so much. If you behave, I won't hurt you. What? What are you gonna do to me? Certain animal rights groups ain't gonna like how you touch me! My services are all legally sanctioned. Just operate the camera like you did before. The, the camera? That's the word she used. After all, we must document the moment this man admits to all of his wrongdoings. So that's your strategy? It seems as though you planned this thoroughly, Lady Blonde. Prepare yourself. There's no chance in hell that I'm going to forgive you. Ooh, I'm shaking in my 3,000 credit pants. But is it not inconsistent to team up with those CPUs? Shut up. It's your fault things have turned out this way to begin with. It's not like I'm actually cooperating with Louis' CPU or anything. I just want to knock your teeth out, personally. You really thought you could fool four CPUs and get away with it? This is your chance to surrender. <sighs> Don't give him that chance. It wouldn't be as fun if he rolls over and gives up. Our little rodent friend wants to film me teaching this sweaty pig some discipline. Don't you? That would be the best thing I've ever done in my life! <laughs> Is this okay? Do you really want to broadcast something like this? Hmm. Are you trying to stall for time? He has a point. This may turn into something improper to broadcast into people's homes. That's not it at all. You said four CPUs a moment ago, but didn't you mean three? Three? No. Mr. Rat, keep the camera rolling. Uh, of course! Don't give us that blank stare. Transform already. We're all doing this for your nation. But I can't transform. Of course not. After that last battle, I doubt anyone is left to power you with their faith. Without the faith of your people, you are powerless. Being a CPU seems to be so inconvenient. <clears throat> what about it? Even if we don't have Louis CPU with us, beating you won't be a problem. In that case, we may get the people of Louis to believe in one of us instead. This would result in Louis' extinction and the total loss of Blonde's power as a CPU. Oh, yeah? Hmm. So my darling, shy little Blonde can't transform. <laughs> if you're fine with that, do as you wish. 
That is, if you CPUs are fine with destroying Louis with your own hands. I'm kind of torn. Before we worry about Louis, I really want to beat the snot out of this guy. I would love to have this cute, non-CPU version of Blonde as my personal pet. Don't joke around about this. Or, that wasn't a joke, was it? Sometimes I wonder. Oh, I'm glad my dear little Neppy has come to understand me. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with these people? It's all my fault. I'm dragging you all down. Oh, are you gonna pout and cry? Gonna hiccup and bawl again? You're such a crybaby, Blonnie. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not, but this situation's too much for me to handle. Oh, I have to bite my lip to hold back the pleasure I get from seeing that face. Flutie, enough is enough. <laughs> that one was a joke. How about this, Blani? What? You got some kind of plan? I will put my faith in you. I'll believe in the bluffing, stubborn, prideful, cute little crybaby that you are. What the hell? Are you trying to lift my spirits or put me down? Neptune, is that even possible? I've never run into such a thing before, but... Ron, I will put my faith in you too. You are a dependable friend. Go ahead, Noir. Huh? Me? I don't really like it, but fine. As my upperclassman of sorts, I'll trust you a little. You... Uh-huh. I feel a little bit of power. But with just this much, I can at least... Transform! Hell yeah! What is this madness? <laughs> and now I will grind your wrinkled ass into dust without a second's hesitation! What a psycho. Now there are four CPUs to contend with. Mm, this aggressive Blonnie is my type too. Darn. I never would have thought this would happen. But it's also my chance to bury all four CPUs here and take over the world like a true businessman. Don't bother uttering impossible things. But is it impossible? I have one last ace up my dry clean sleeve. I diverted some of Louise's national budget into the development of this cool mech. What the hell? You went so far as to embezzle this nation's money? Pretty sloppy management of your trusted advisors. Can it, pigtails? That's not relevant right now! <laughs> CPUs, witness my true power! Crush that ugly mech suit like a soda can! You'll know my true rage and regret crossing me! We mustn't kill him. We need to make this little birdie sing. Is it time to begin? Start filming us, my lovely Mr. Rat. You got it! I'll defeat you myself! It's my turn to attack! Drop crash! My turn. I'll stick it all on this. <laughs> Finally. It's time for your punishment. To enjoy this, you need to be a masochist. Let me train you. I can go anytime. Tanzer and Trump! Shot! Ha! 
I'll show you. Doesn't hurt. That was it. nothing. Don't get in our way. What shall I do to you? I can go any time. Tanzerin dropping! from Louise Basilicom, this is Neptune and... The Lovely Noir, presenting you this empty husk of a man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have shamed my name. I apologize for my life. <laughs> I can't hear you, bitch. Say it louder. Ouch! Please, don't shout. How dare you try and impersonate a human, you swine! Get on all fours and squeal! Ah, stop! Please, stop kicking me square in the spleen! No! To summarize, the junk that went down today was all the Seven Sages' wicked scheme. And now, we go to Miss Noir for some freshy fresh commentary. Um, okay. It might look like we're coercing a confession, but what he's saying is the truth. Actually, it's probably 
too late for me to ask, but is it really safe to broadcast this? I wonder. Mommies and daddies of the world, cover your spawns, eyes, and ears real tight. Um, it's way too late for that. Hey, rat! Turn the camera off! At least let your fallen comrade keep his pride, please! <laughs> if you do that, dear rodent, you know what will happen. Oh, man! Sorry, Chunk, but I'm Lady Plutia's loyal servant! That's a good pet. Especially when compared to this filthy pig. Out! Stop! Please don't pull out my precious remaining hairs, strand by strand! It hurts! I think that's enough. I can't believe I let this jerk-off pull my strings. How pathetic of me! You... you mean you're done torturing me? Oh, thank the gods of business. Oh, you're tired of him already? In that case, I'll just keep toying with him as I see fit. No! Um, so, even if we gotta force her, shouldn't we stop this? You're right. This brings the Seven Sages Emergency Apology Press Conference to a close. Hey, shitheads at home! Don't you even dare doubt my badassery ever again! If you do, expect the same treatment this blowhard got! Hi-ya! Yeah! Ah! Someone save me! A bunch of stuff happened or whatever, but I guess we wrapped up all the loose burritos. Good job, Blonnie. Um, thanks, Plutia. And you too, Neptune. Don't even mention it. That's right, we're friends. Aren't you forgetting to thank a certain someone? No way in hell I'm saying it to you. You! <gasps> well, it's not like I wanted to hear it or anything. Hearing it would make me puke. The hell was that? Aw, play nice. Wiggle man. They were like this in my world, too. Before you know it, they'll be best of pals. Like, like hell, hell we, we will. will. See? They're already singing the same tunes. You'll see. If I get serious, Last Station won't even be a blip on my radar. Don't bother to come crying to me, because it'll be too late. You'd make a great hair dryer blowing all that hot air at me. Just don't ruin Louis again. Pretty big damn words for a newbie. You're so loud for a has-been. Um, now that you mention it, even when they're arguing, they sound like good friends. They're like fire and ice, or cookies and couscous, so this might take a while. Wanna go home? I bet Gisty's all lonely and pouty and stuff by now. Sure, we can't waste all our time at the nursing home with this old has-been. Bye-bye, Blonnie! But, wait! Hmm? What is it? Um... I'll be busy restoring my nation for a while, but... Huh? Maybe when I do get some free time, maybe I can come see you. Maybe? Okies, come whenever. Oh, really? Your word is your bond, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bond away! <laughs> That's good. Oh! Hmm? Huh? What's up with your face? You jealous, Professor Noir? Did Blonde just steal Plutie? No, I don't care. Plutia would never be better friends with some has-been than she is with me. There's no guarantee, Missy. I mean, Plutie is totally having fun talking to her. But I always get to hang out with Plutie, so that doesn't really matter to me. Oh! Plutia! on my sleeve. Oh. Um, bye-bye, Blonnie. Bye-bye, huh? It's time to kick ass at my job. Oh, yeah. I sleuthed something about you today, Beauty. Hmm? 
What did you find out? When you went all Sadie today, you were kind of nice to Blonde. You think she's real cool, huh? Was she? I guess I noticed it too. Just a wee bit of compassion came through. Um, well, Blonnie was crying at the time, so... Sure she was, but Sadie's usually all... <laughs> Tears make me randy, isn't she? You're not the type to feel sorry for someone after you've transformed. Oh, no. She was crying, and her face was super cute, and... and... Huh? It was... Super cute? So I thought if I act nice at first, she'd cry even harder later and it'd be even cuter. But uh, I don't think that now. It was just in the heat of that moment. Note to self, Sadie is a truly dangerous beast. I wonder what Mom would think if she knew. Don't you dare tell her! I don't like her, but even I'm not that evil. 